One of the biggest Power Rangers mysteries to this day is who the Phantom Ranger is. He's a unique looking Power Ranger that always showed up morphed and we really didn't know much about him or what his true identity was. Now I'm someone who didn't really grow up on Power Rangers Turbo and whenever I watched it I wasn't a huge fan. We're here to toss your salad. But I did watch Power Rangers in space a lot growing up so I was familiar with the character. And recently I went to a flea market and saw one of the lightning collection figures for the Phantom Ranger on the shelf and it got me thinking, I kind of want to know more about this character because I'd only ever really seen him in a couple of episodes of In Space just for a few seconds. And since I've been in the fandom for a while, I know that there's a lot of questions about the Phantom Ranger that were never answered. I knew that right off the bat, but I wanted to see more of him in Turbo. So I went to the Power Rangers wiki to see how many episodes, or at least which episodes, the Phantom Ranger was in. And it was a very small amount, a lot smaller than I really expected it to be. Because the Phantom Ranger left a pretty big impact on the show, and a lot of people still talk about him to this day. But then looking on the wiki, I realized he was only in 7 episodes of Turbo, and 3 episodes of In Space. 10 episodes total. 10 episodes total of Power Rangers. And then I started to watch these episodes of Turbo, because like I said, I just wanted to see more of the character. And I counted a, a rough estimate of 20 minutes of the Phantom Ranger in all of Power Rangers. Like I said, it's a little rough estimate, but I counted all of the appearances of him in Power Rangers in space and turbo combined, and it was just about 20 minutes, like an episode's length. And that's not even necessarily all the time that he was on screen, I just kind of counted the length of the scenes that he was in. So it got me thinking, what are some other characters that really haven't been on screen much, but made a big impact in it, or some of people's favorite rangers in the franchise? Today I just wanted to go through a couple of them, because like the Phantom Ranger, there's a few out there that are really popular that were barely in the show at all. And I put myself on a quest to figure out what ranger in the entire series had the least amount of screen time. Hopefully I can find the answer. It's not something that I could just Google. I just had to do individual research for like all of these series. And look, I've, I've been a Power Rangers fan for almost 20 years. I still haven't seen every episode. This is over 900 episodes. Maybe I've seen half of them. A lot of this is going off of memory. So if I forget anything, uh, please let me know in the comments. There is a chance that's going to happen. But another one that I wanted to bring up right away is the Titanium Ranger. One of the most popular Power Rangers of all time. He was the first American-made Six Ranger, or at least core team member, that wasn't in Super Sentai. He had a great story, a great suit, all of it, so he's very popular. But he was only in 11 episodes of the show, and with a lot of Six Rangers, they're actually introduced pretty early on, especially like when we get into the Neo Saban era of Power Rangers. Uh, almost like clockwork, the Six Ranger would come in around the 8th episode of a 40 episode series. So then they would be in the majority of these series, and a lot of Six Rangers are like that. They come in pretty early, and then they're a mainstay. But the Titanium Ranger is actually gone for a majority of the series. And look, I'm not gonna act like I don't understand why. I totally understand why. It's because he was an American-made ranger. There was no Sentai footage of him, so if you wanted to have them on the show at all, the creators of the show and everybody working on it would have to go above and beyond and spend more money than they really need to to get him on screen. That is a big no-no in Saban's eyes, guys. I don't know if you're familiar with that. I don't blame him. Look, Power Rangers has always been on a budget. It is an adaption of Super Sentai, so you're gonna use Super Sentai footage. If your character isn't in Super Sentai, well, just prepare to not see a whole lot of them. But like the Phantom Ranger, I was just surprised to hear this because the Titanium Ranger is so popular, but he wasn't really in the show all that much. But he leaves a big impact, and I've seen Lightspeed Rescue. It's been a while since I've rewatched it, but I just remembered him being in more of the show than he actually was. So I, like I said, I guess he just made that much of an impact. But then on the other end of the spectrum, I remember the Spirit Rangers from Jungle Fury barely being in the show. It's just, that was how I saw it in my mind. But they actually made an appearance in 10 different episodes, which was surprising to me. I just, rem I remembered it being a whole lot less. And like I said, with Lightspeed Rescue, it's been a little while since I've rewatched that particular series, but I was surprised. They were actually in the show more than I thought. And it's because of that fact that I think I'm gonna put Jungle Fury on my next rewatch. I've been trying to go through and rewatch a whole bunch of Power Ranger series because uh, I took a few, I don't know if you guys noticed, I was off the channel for a couple of years or a few years. I kind of took a hiatus from watching Power Rangers and making videos and stuff, but I've been getting back into it recently. Uh, let me know in the comments, like, what do you think I should rewatch first? I've been rewatching, like, I watched the entirety of SPD. I'm almost done with the Time Force. I think I'm gonna make Jungle Fury next, but let me know what you guys think. Now let's get into the real obscure Rangers, like 11 episodes, 10 episodes, even if it was 20 minutes total, it's still a good amount. The Dark Dino Charge Ranger, which is pretty new to Power Rangers, 
was only seen in two different episodes. He made a brief appearance in Power Rangers Cosmic Fury and had two different fight scenes, and then that was it. Now, I, you know, the main reason that he was really in there was just to get, just for the fan service, to get the fans to shut up about this suit that was never used in Dino Charge. And look, I was happy with it. I mean, we didn't need to get anything crazy with it. We didn't need to have a whole story arc with Heckle. They did a lot of character development off screen to get him in this suit. But he had a brief appearance in Cosmic Fury as a spy, had two different fight scenes, and they called it a day. And a lot of people complained about the amount of screen time that the extra Dino Charge Rangers got in the show. But looking back, the Silver Ranger and the Graphite Ranger were in 10 different episodes of Dino Charge or Dino Supercharge, and the Aqua Ranger was in 8 episodes. It's actually quite a bit for a 40 episode season, or series. People also fondly remember the Silver Psycho Ranger from Power Rangers in Space. It wasn't a real Psycho Ranger if you've seen the show, it was actually the Silver in Space Ranger dressed up as a Psycho Ranger. You got, if you're watching this video, you probably already knew that, but he only had two and a half minutes of screen time, and yet he made a pretty big impact and has returned in the toy line, I believe, a couple of times. And then Lauren, the female Samurai Red Ranger, was also only in two episodes. I remember that being a way bigger ordeal when the show aired. I remember watching it in 2012 and it, it being like this big thing, this big event, and then I went back and, you know, the actual Ranger itself was two episodes. I, I believe Lauren was in more episodes, but the Ranger itself, only two, which was very surprising to me. And then another Red Ranger that was only in two episodes was the Ghost Ranger from Power Rangers Dino Fury and Cosmic Fury. And really, it was just a few minutes of screen time. I have a belief that's not really backed up by any evidence that I think Hasbro was going to have the Ghost Ranger be a bigger part of the team in Cosmic Fury. But I think at the end of Dino Fury, they still really weren't sure what they were going to do with that show. Because he appeared in the first episode of Cosmic Fury, and then Zato immediately got rid of that suit and uh, got the Z the Zenith Ranger costume. I mean, the Ghost Ranger was a big reveal at the end of Dino Fury, and then they immediately threw it away. So it was very short-lived. I just believe in my head that it was supposed to be a, a bigger deal or a bigger part of Cosmic Fury, and then they changed their mind. That's just that's just what I think. SPD is the biggest culprit with having short-lived Rangers. I mean, I recently did a YouTube short about it, but I'm gonna go over it again. Okay, there were four instances of one-off rangers rangers that were just in one episode of the show the cat ranger was only in the show for one episode like i said but four minutes and 30 seconds roughly both the nova ranger and the orange spd ranger had about a minute of screen time like one to two minutes i understand the orange ranger was a dream sequence but i'm gonna count it okay i don't want to see you guys in the comments anymore about that and then what i believe to be the shortest lived power ranger in the entire series is Sky's dad. Sky's dad and the reuse of the red Time Force suit has been a big topic of discussion in the Power Rangers fandom for a very long time. So you'd think he would be a bigger part of the series than he is. No, eight seconds. Sky's dad was on screen for, for around 20 seconds-ish. Now maybe 15. But the actual suit, the reused suit, was eight seconds. Eight. To be that big of a, like, a topic or a discussion, you would think it would be more than that, but it, it wasn't at all. And I was surprised about the Phantom Ranger, but this was just, this one was just a crime. But that's it, so that's some short-lived Power Rangers. I know I missed some, I just chose not to talk about some because I didn't want to be here all day. Um, but if you want to discuss some other short-lived Power Rangers, make sure to do that in the comments because I'm done here.